the Lord. And he will give all of you into our hands. Praise the name of the Lord. This is a confession David is making. Is he know that before I fight this God I have to give him a piece of what the Lord is saying. He says that today you are coming towards me with a sword and a spear. But I am telling you that I will handle your body and those of the Philistines to the birds of the air. Because the Lord will not say by this sword. It is not by this, uh, by the spear that you are holding that you are going to get victory. I am carrying the name of the Lord. And because I am carrying that name, I want to
that men will put craft to penetrate. Because there is no divination, there is no put craft against this time. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't give the devil excuse. You know, I give the way I give because people say, I mean, why do you think you are not you are being bewitched? Why you are the best person to heal yourself? A cousin of ours used to say, No, I cannot go home. So you need to say, I don't buy that those days. I cannot go home because there is a witch who wishes me not to go home. Then I told him, Go home. And in that witch will see you, you know that the witch is already defeated because he no one to come home. And he came home. But you know what? It is so sad that we are bound by words that you don't know how to break. The moment that he went home, he went home knowing that if I go home, I will die. He did not finish a month, he died. Why? When you give negative words room to rule over your life, they will rule over you till death. Because unless you break those words, they will pursue you. There's a word for you to that you will remain jobless and leave you get educated. And then there's your own papers. You go there, you're qualified. You no workers. No workers. No workers. Do you know in heaven there is no workers? Yeah, or not. You are told in the process until the Lord comes. There is a gate you are supposed to enter and possess. But you need to create it by destroying everyone that follows your life to bring misfortunes. says from today, I have a highway for my life that no one can and enter, that no one can pursue. You start speaking about your life, creating an environment for your future. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I was reading some a chat in the water of how things have changed. How people want to, 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 to quench the fire, the gospel. And that, the chat was saying like this. And I have told God, God, give me Scotland or I die. Paul said, God, give us source or give us nothing. But when we look at this generation, the way we are, we are using our hands. God, give me this. You are mentioning the biggest more by force. God, I want this. God, God, I think that God, that you are God, that blesses. He is a God that blesses when he doesn't give you that form. We are supposed to use our tongues to ask for things that last and that glorify our God. But most of the times, move the tongue in your water or two. Your water or two will move. Your water or two will move. Move the party in your water or two. And see your move at the water in your water or two. We use our tongues to ask things for ourselves, for our own glory. And then we pray and we don't get. Why? You see your time negatively. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to know the will of God so that as we speak, we speak the will of God. As we ask, we ask the will of God. It will be done now on earth as it is in heaven. Because in heaven there is a will to be done. And if you want to see from the Lord, use your time to confess His will to be done now on earth as it is in heaven. But sometimes you want it to be done in heaven as it is in earth. It is never by its first time. Tell your neighbor, it is never by its first time. It is never your will, your will to be done in heaven as it is in earth. It is your will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Whatever we are confessing, asking God, let it be the one in heaven to be done in you, but not the one in earth to be done in heaven. You cannot take it there. Praise the name of the Lord. So some people pray, we normally ask things. We speak so many things, they are not happening. Why? Not in line with the will of the Lord. If they are in line with the will of the Lord before you alter, the Lord will release an answer. Before you call him, you will release an answer. You are you are done with our favor. You are done with like a skillful pen writing things. The vision of heaven here on earth. But most of the times. How we use that our tongues. We use them negatively, we get negative results. The Lord wants us to use our tongues effectively. Don't use your tongue to insult others. Don't use your tongue to speak deceit. Don't use your tongue to bring arguments 
of love I Paul told Timothy to avoid the farmers of the Holy Spirit. So Paul like arguments. You are arguing over creation, you are arguing over everything, and then God listens to every word that you speak. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we are at times that God wants time. Who can be this true representatives of the earth? You speak something, it happens. Why? Because you know that is the will of our God. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we speak, may the Lord help us that we will live a life that is focused on His will in our lives. Um, as we continue with the effective use of the time, I say uh, in the morning that let an awesome talk not come out of your mouth. Train your mouth. Let me say, I will put a watch on my mouth when the weekend is before me. What do you speak when the weekend has surrounded you? Put a watch on the one that you speak. There are people today in the prison, not because they committed an offense, but the way they spoke before they died. How you try to explain yourself? Some people fix themselves through their, their mouth, and others have escaped through their mouth. How do you use your mouth? Does it bring you often to trouble or it delivers you from trouble? But it is specific. I say that those who like to live long and have a good life and long days, you must keep your tongue from evil. And then I say that in Matthew 12, that says that we shall give an account to every word that we speak, so we should not use idle words. Get Proverbs 15, verse 4, the Bible says that the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a powerless tongue crushes the spirit. It crushes the spirit. Let our tongues become trees of life. Let people enjoy staying near you because you're speaking positive words to them. Let people enjoy being in your company because you know the right words to speak to the right people. Let us not have a purpose time that crashes the spirit. Another one, Proverbs 26, verse 20. This one says that without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, a quarrel dies down. Now, if there is a fire and there will be no wood to be added to that fire, that fire will go down. And uh, when we talk about a gossip, when there is a gossip, a quarrel will continue. But when there is no gossip, gossip, then the quarrel will go down. What does this mean? There are people that the devil use to add insult to each other to others. Somebody is already messed up, you come and add wood to the fire to keep it by. The wood of a gossip, it will keep on burning and burning and gossip to separate friends. It is not always good to speak something that we are not sure of. Let your tongue be trained always to speak the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we, we, we like exaggerating things. You have heard a story, you don't know its origin, and you keep on spreading it. Then the devil uses your tongue to speak malice, to speak falsehood, because you've never trained your tongue to speak at the right time and at the right place. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says in Proverbs 10, 20, the tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the act of the wicked is of little value. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the act of the wicked is of little value. Is your tongue like a choice silver? Silver that has already been chosen. It is a choice silver, valuable. Your tongue should be like just silver. Whatever you are speaking, you are speaking words that people say again and again we like to hear from you. But at times, we use our tongues. Which can be compared like a wicked heart, which is of little virtue. I say that tongue is a small member of the body, but its effects are great. A tongue burns like fire. A tongue is a world of evil. And many people have missed, have missed it because they don't know how to use 
is their dance properly. May the Lord touch our hearts today that we will always speak like Joseph. You choose your words well. If God says, people say, let us take words. We take words, we pick words, and we take them to God. Well, as you.